Songhai Center is an international non-governmental development organization. Its headquarters is located in Porto Novo, Republic of Vene. Songhai is the name of a powerful and prosperous empire that marked the history of West Africa between the 14th and 16th centuries. In order to effectively fight under development and raise the standard of living of Africans, we believe that steps should be taken to generalize successful indigenous experiences. This is why it is central in the Songhai philosophy to establish satellites and support systems for Songhai graduates in different parts of the continent, starting with Bene, Kenweji, Savalu, Paraku, Chiahomadebe, but also including Nigeria, Togo, and very soon Liberia. One of the most important elements in the Songhai movement is its human resource development program, where a sense of responsibility in every aspect of development of the continent is inculcated in the youth. Songhai's objectives are to develop technical, moral, and entrepreneurial capacities within local communities in general and the youth in particular through effective and functional training programs within the framework of a regenerative or a self-sustaining economic system. In this system, care is taken to promote the relative advantages of individuals, communities and regions for efficiency and greater synergy. To train and support the underprivileged and unskilled people, especially members of rural communities, instilling in them entrepreneurial reflexes that will lead to appropriate and organized enterprises for the production of goods and services that will not only be economically viable, but socially relevant with a view to re-impacting capacity and leveraging the poor. Effectively, Songhai's ambition is to participate in the creation of a new African society by developing an appropriate and efficient human resource base and a sustainable and cost-effective integrated production system that enhances the environment while adding value at different levels of production. It is the multidimensional and functional training system of Songhai that makes it a leader in the production of an effective human resource pool for the development of Benin and Africa. In order to realize this vision of positive social change, Songhai, through its logic of risk sharing with its partners, seeks to become an example of a successful culture transforming man with its umbrella of values. The Songhai logo and slogan, commitment to excellence, bring home this point. In effect, Songhai's commitment to excellence is also the battle cry of its founder, Father Godfrey Nzamujo, and highlights the necessity for radical and conscious mobilization against the present state of affairs. One day, as I was in my laboratory, one of the biggest in, in the world at that particular time, and I was looking at the television and I saw uh, the young Africans with their big stomach being starved over there. And that was around the 80s during that big, uh, uh, you know, um, dry period, dry, dry spread in Africa, and particularly in Ethiopia. This picture was in Ethiopia, and I saw all those young people come in, and the people were asking for aid. I said, oh my goodness, this is my own continent of origin. What am I doing here in one of the biggest labs in the world? So, and then, the next day, I saw this picture again. So that meant as it was calling me, asking me something. So I discussed with some of my families and the friends, and then I was telling them, look, I'm really interested. My father jumped on an idea, and then, um, I decided therefore to come back to Africa to really understand what is going on. My own Africa of yesterday was more romantic, everything was fine, but now as an adult, what am I going to see in Africa? So that took me, that trip took me to from Nigeria, but my origin, to Liberia, 
Kenya, South Africa, and uh, Zaid, the former Zaid, my brother, when I came back, I was angry. I was extremely angry, you know, what I saw. Because I saw that Africa was extremely rich, but extremely poor. Why? I think we are poor today because we've taken the wrong direction. We have accepted the wrong economic equation that was imposed on us. And that's why we are here today. In fact, Songhai's answer to the development crisis in Africa is to develop simple alternatives that foster creativity and innovation. Songhai Village is a typical example of this. In the Songhai Village, a typical African setup where aquatic plants are used for water purification and production of biogas. We can see ducks, turkeys, geese, and chickens. The food processing activities in semi-industrial levels like the palm oil and cassava. Songhai Village is therefore an illustration of the integrated system approach which can be implemented with local materials. In fact, it shows in a small scale the integration of the different components of a rural economy. In other words, Songhai Village is a showcase of the Songhai integrated production system in a rural environment. It is a place where student farmers acquire the profile of real farmers and familiarize themselves with actual conditions of rural entrepreneurship. The framework for this drive is the integrated system that creates and enhances interrelations between the sectors, animal, crop, aquaculture, agro-industry, machine production, and services. Additionally, information technology serves as an ideal educational platform. First of all, Songhai is an integrated development system where we have three principal elements. In there, the primary production, the secondary production, and the tertiary production. Coming back on the primary production, which is agriculture, is still integrated. That's why I really see the zero. In that zero, we mean zero emission research initiative. Nothing is wasted. The waste from one section becomes an input in another section, and then we go around. From like chicken or the animal waste are recycled, they become input in the plant production. The plant waste are used to feed our animals and also used to feed our fish. And then the wastewater from the fish pond is used to irrigate the crops or used to feed our, our, our animals. You see, this is integrated, nothing is wasted here. So now the environment in this way becomes our friends, becomes our partner. Because we want to develop the idea that we can really develop in a very sustainable manner if we respect the environment. The environment therefore is going to augment our productivity. This is the center of Songhai agricultural production here. To further magnify what we're doing, and in order for us to really get everybody on board, we are also developing what I call low input agricultural production, where most of the inputs in our production system are byproduct, waste product, what people don't even use. By that now, most of the production inputs are there at the reach of practically everybody here. So this is exactly what we're using in our production system. The waste, uh, like uh, uh, the chaps from, look at even what I'm standing up here, this is all the waste that we should have thrown away. We use them again to mulch, and then so that the humidity is maintained over there and the productivity keep on going. Here we are in the poultry sector. We are going to discover many types of birds, such as ducks, quails, turkeys, guinea fowls, broilers, breeds like Rhode Island Red, their naked chicken, Sussex, as well as thousands of commercial hybrid layers. 
We have four types of eggs here, chicken, turkey, geese, and quail eggs on the incubation. After the incubation period, the eggs are transferred to the hatchery where the chicks hatch. In order to respond to local needs, Songhai raises many types of animals on its four sides. You have cows, grass cutters, rabbits, as well as pigs. All these animals are raised in appropriate pens and environments. There are also snails, raised in the plantain and banana plantations. The diversification of meat production takes into account the market and also available assets such as the 138 acres of artificial lake on the Parapu side and local indigenous practices. Here we have 138 acres of artificial lake. These are floating cages. Over there we have some fish ponds for reproduction. We have about 5,000 fingerlings in each floating pond and a total of 10 cages. That is 10 times 5,000 which is 50,000 fingerlings that we can produce in four months. We are thinking of increasing the number to 20 cages. This is not all. After stocking the cages, surplus fingerlings are released into the lake. Local fishermen are regularly invited to harvest fish from the lake. After harvesting, the, the catch is shared. It is a 50-50 deal. They use our materials and respect the rules. For example, they do not remove underdeveloped fish. Through this arrangement, we recover part of our investment and the fishermen make money and are happy. Thus, the field partners of the project, since they benefit from our aquaculture program. The fish is fed with byproducts and especially formulated pellets. In this area, there is no other fish farm. Frozen fish is brought from Cotonou, but people really appreciate our fish. However, the quantity we produce is still far below the market demand. Various techniques are used in Songhai's aquaculture program. Floating cages, earthen ponds, concrete ponds. We practice artificial insemination on catfish and make our own fish pellets. Here we are in one of the fish production sections where we produce catfish fingerlings. This is a table for dissection and extraction of eggs. Here we have five containers for the incubations of eggs. It is from this infrastructure that Songhai produces between 8 and 10,000 catfish fingerlings every month. Fish shouldn't be a rare commodity in any part of the country. You only have to go to any of the Songhai sites, either in the north south or the center of Benin to see that tons of different species of fish can be produced anywhere in the country. The pillar of our integrated agricultural production is the crop sector. 
most of the inputs in our soils enrichment are recycled by products from other sectors, animal and plant waste. Here we are in the crop production section where we will discover various kinds of vegetables such as carrots that are harvested by the customers. Still inside this big farmland, we find some guy's idea of a neighborhood farm where you are expected to feel at home. You will also and always see some of the customers harvesting the products of their choice like cabbage, lettuce and beetroot. Also, there are various kinds of vegetables, onion, pepper, watermelon, maize, okra, and the famous new rice for Africa, Nerica, being harvested. Thanks to Songhai's various systems of irrigation, appropriate solutions are being developed for effective water management, which is one of the problems hindering agricultural development in Africa. At Songhai, both the old and modern systems are used. At Songhai, the soil is never dry. <laughs> A new profitable opportunity for the national economy practiced in Songhai Center is the production of ornamental plants cultivated on more than 150 acres in Savalu and Paraku. Over the years, Songhai, through great and innovative efforts, has resolutely engaged in the recycling of waste for both environmental and economic reasons, developing environmentally sound income generating activities for the communities, such as mushroom production, biogas, and water purification. Mushroom starts from the laboratory and ends uh, in the growing area. The substrate we use in Songhai are cotton seed, rice bran, bean shell, uh, you have rice straw, corn cob, sawdust, banana leaf, the crushed palm bunch. We sell some of the mushrooms fresh in small polythene bags of 200 grams. While we dry some of them, we sell some of them dry. We also conserve some of them in salt solution. Mushroom conserved in salt solution can last for up to one and a half years. All these products, the dry mushroom, the fresh mushroom, are offered for sale at the sales point of the center. Mushrooms are a high source of protein and an immune booster. About 200 kilograms are produced monthly. Through the researches conducted at Sangai, this vegetable is produced from palm bunches and can also grow on woods or grains. Le biogaz, c'est un gaz naturel. Biogas is a natural gas produced from the fermentation of vegetables and animal byproducts in an airtight digester. The digester is a kind of tank constructed on the ground. It is a modified Chinese model. To feed the digester for the production of the gas, we use animal droppings and biomass that the water hyacinth. Hyacinth is an aquatic plant generally regarded as a nuisance, but here we use it to purify waste water and for biogas production. It is chopped and mixed with animal droppings. The mixture is put in the loading chamber that leads directly to the digester. It is then mixed with water in the digester. When the digester is fully operational, the retention period is about 24 hours. 
Songhai's philosophy is an uphill battle that doesn't leave any stone unturned. The production system is based on a zero waste principle. This is a clear drive to recycle anything that can be recycled. A system where waste from one sector becomes an input in another. Thus, in this systemic environment, where nothing is wasted and a lot conserved and transformed, the environment is seen as one of five indispensable capitals in a sustainable production system. The four other capitals are human, social or cultural, technique or communication, and credit. The value of Songhai's integrated system resides in its simplicity, which is using what you have to get what you want. This innovative method is sustainable economic development is baptized Ziri. It's about 20 years ago when we inherited this place here where we're standing. Um, people thought it was nothing. It was really dead. It was an abandoned government property that we took here and nothing could grow. So we started working on this using the natural means as you're seeing here. Everybody working together, bringing in together our brains, nature and often the bacteria everything is working up now now this place we are standing is one of the most productive places in this west african region the impact of the songai village environment on the youth trained at songai made us to develop similar environments in kinweji savalu and paraku to receive young Songhai graduates within the Songhai Outreach concept for a one-year internship program. I came to Songhai for training in agriculture, fishery, and livestock. I intend to go back to my village after the training here and start a farm. I would like to grow food for my family and people in the village and also teach them the new agricultural techniques I learned at Songhai. I was trained at the Songhai Center from 1995 to 1996. After my training, I set up my farm and found it necessary to dig a well that would allow me to have enough water which will facilitate production on the site. You can see the construction of the well. In the beginning, I had support from the Songhai Center with an amount of 2 million sefa, which helped me to set up my farm in 2003. Here, in 2003, and as you can see, as you can see, it's the poles as cultivar, as you can see here, I have chickens and solo, purple that are my main activities, and some secondary activities like watermelon, green pepper, tomatoes, cucumber, and a lot of other things. I was trained at the Songhai Center from 1993. During my training, I was interested in grafting. After my graduation, I started a nursery before I started livestock production. Donc, de 93 en 95, j'ai préparé pas mal de plants, c'est-à-dire d'agrumes, que j'ai greffé moi-même. J'ai fait les croisons, tout et tout. From 1993 to 1995, I grew a lot of plants that I grafted myself. From 1995 to 1998, I got the first fruits that allowed me to really get things going. From year to year, the production was increasing 
and in 2004, I presented my first proposal, which allowed me to get a loan of 1.5 million CEFA from Songhai. This gave my activities a new impetus. Now I have customers who come from Behekon and Cotonou to buy oranges. I'm making money. At Songhai, the efficiency of the integrated system management is based on the hedgehog concept, that is, getting three clear principles into play at the same time in order to succeed in entrepreneurship. One, be very good at what you are doing. Two, be very passionate about it. And three, it must be profitable. To strengthen its role as the mother enterprise and motor of development, Songhai develops the insourcing and outsourcing policy throughout the farmer's network. Thus, Songhai is like a hub surrounded by satellite enterprises and individuals that are continually leveraged and participate in a common market within the network. Within this network of more than 1,000 farmers, we find people like Felix Agbesi and Camille Tohozin, established respectively in Calavi and Boycon in Benin. The products of these farmers constitute the raw materials for the food processing units within the network, including the mother farm, which is Songhai. Here we are at the food processing unit. Nothing is neglected at Songhai. The cassava and palm fruit processing and other types of fruit juices and syrup, pastries, jam, tomato puree, and so on. All these products are kept and stored in an appropriate place. To get to this step, you must have ripe palm fruits. You clean them very well and load them in the steam chamber of the boiler with water already in the reservoir. Steaming is for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, you open the steam chamber and transfer the steamed palm nuts to the oil press. You open the staff in the clarificator here and get out the oil. To increase the value for the farmer's products, Songhai centers many industry units for rice husking, cashew and soya processing come into play. All these units are mainly managed by women. Mechanization is one of the challenges facing the agricultural sector of Benin and Africa in general. Songhai, through its technical know-how, plays an important role in this sector. We can see different kinds of machines adapted to the context of African agricultural production. At Songhai, you can purchase different types of machines for palm oil, kernel oil, cassava, feed mill, and pelleting machines. Yeah, we make tools and spare parts for the agricultural machines as police. 
This allows our mechanical department to provide machines for pre and post agricultural activities. We recycle aluminium and cast iron from discarded engines and other sources. In order to further integrate and add value in all the sectors of the economy, Songhai has built forward and backward linkages between the primary, secondary, and tertiary sectors. In this light, Songhai has developed infrastructure that reduces the transaction costs and the marketing of our products. Farmers markets, restaurants, and transportation services are developed. Songhai Telecenter networks play an important role in adding value to the products by reducing the transaction cost by improving communication within the network. The information and communication technologies development in Songhai is to facilitate the integration of different sectors and players within the system and assure their linkage to the outside world. These technologies are very accessible in terms of quality and price. It promotes and galvanizes knowledge sharing within the Songhai network and the communities around it. The commercial policy of Songhai is to make customers to feel at home. Songhai farms are neighborhood farms. Customers can pick vegetables of their choice directly on the farm. There are two other ways of distribution. One, buying from the Songhai outlets available in some cities in Benin. Two, home delivery. Songhai Center has developed into an organization that lives basically on its activities. It is an output-driven project. Songhai today has more than 120 student farmers at the Portonovo, Savalu, Paraku, and Kinweji sites for a training period of 18 months. More than 300 national and foreign trainees per year for short-term training. More than 1,500 farmers settled in various regions of Benin and operating within an outreach program. More than 300 permanent staff and 400 part-time workers more than eight integrated sectors, more than 50,000 visitors each year, more than 20 projects in Africa, more than 150 customers served at the main Songhai restaurant every day, various kinds of meat products, 24,000 crates of eggs delivered every month in the Benin market. Some of the retailers of these products bear testimony. My name is Moussa John Abadoni. Je suis le client de uh, Songhai. Je prends le produit minimum two fois par mois, uh, par, par semaine. I'm one of Songhai's customers. Since 2002, I have been buying Songhai products twice a week. À la commencement, on m'a donné le facilité. In the beginning, Songhai gave me a credit line. I buy the products and pay later. Now my customers know Songhai product very well. No I buy my products twice a week from Songhai because it is more profitable for me. I buy cabbage, eggs, purple, lettuce, carrots, beetroots, tomatoes, and watermelon. Songhai products have longer shelf lives. The eggs especially are of the best quality, but the quantity delivered is not sufficient. Surtout à Zion, hier, à Zion, on va
constitute a group of three persons to obtain a loan from Songhai. I am the president of the group. When we get the loan, we divide it into three. To reimburse Songhai, the other two members bring their money and I pay to Songhai. There is a good understanding, love and solidarity among us. All this has been possible through the contribution of various partners to whom Songhai accords special gratitude. These partners wholeheartedly contribute to the development of Songhai through their technical know-how and actions. Some of these partners are volunteers from different social groups, NGOs, churches, development organizations, government institutions, the United Nations, international organizations, philanthropists, and friends both from the North and the South. Let's find out more about the man behind this organization, the founder, Father Godfrey Nzamojo, Order of Preachers. You know, many people ask me that question. You're a priest, you're a scientist, you're a farmer. How do you manage? It's very interesting. Um, because it's not just do different things, it's the same person doing them. It's my being a priest that makes me do those things. I can be a priest and also be an engineer because being a priest is first of all me, what I am, what I feel, my vision, my value system, this is what it is. So I, I call myself a cosmic dancer. One leg is planted solidly in what I am today, a Catholic priest, a scientist. But the other leg too is becoming another type of thing. I'm a little bit of a Muslim, I'm a little bit of a Buddhist, I'm a little bit of a Protestant because this is where my people are. If I'm not those things, then I'm not even going to be my own priesthood. Songhai is a seedbed where we want to start this process of social reconstruction towards a life of quality. It is the question of the cake to make and not the cake to share. The dream at Songhai today is to reinforce its human resource base by opening its windows to receive experiences, techniques, ideas and technologies from outside. But this will only work when we have a strong and committed, solid human resource base that is capable of selectively absorbing all those ideas and experiences from outside, from there developing techniques, ideas, re-engineering them and redesigning new possibilities that will solve our real problems. This is the challenge for Africa tomorrow. Thank you.